What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at installing Adrenaline application on our PS Vita. And I'm currently running off 3.60 Hinkaku Enzo. Let's take a look here real quick in system information. There we go. And unfortunately this app will not work for versions 3.71, 7.2 and 7.3. So you must downgrade if you're in either one of those in order for you to use this app. And this application is pretty cool because we can emulate our PSP games and also the PS1 games. And it makes your Vita almost a two-in-one device because you can use anything that's related to the PSP on your device and it just brings up the whole XMB of the PSP which is great. And so it's fairly simple to install this. Let's go ahead and get started by going into our Vita shell and we're going to enable our FTP client. So let's press start and make sure your select button is enabled to FTP. Press select and now we're going to go onto our desktop and open up our FTP client. Let's use the quick connect up here. Hit OK and now we're ready to transfer some files. So uh, go to the first link in the description and I'll take you to github.com and here is 6.1 oh, I'm sorry 6.61 adrenaline version 6.9 and we're gonna download this VPK click on that now we're gonna show in our folder perfect and we're gonna copy this VPK into our UXO folder and I do have a VPK folder. This is where I keep all of my VPKs and I'm just going to drag that in there. So now we're going to go back on our Vita. Let's get out of here. And sorry, I accidentally pressed the home button. So let's go into our UXO and go to the VPK folder. Find that file. Here's adrenaline.vpk. Press X. Do you want to install this package? Hit yes. And do you, would you like to continue to install or continue the install? Would you like to continue the install? There we go. That's how you say it. Press X to install. Ninety-four percent. Perfect. Once it's done, you go to your home menu. And there is Adrenaline, ready to go. Let's open that up. The following application will close Vita Shell. Hit OK. And it is going to do that, just open it back up. If you press and hold the PS button when you play PlayStation format software, a quick menu appears and you can change settings. So now it says press X to install the PSP 6.61 firmware on your memory card. And it is cut up on the top here of the video. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. Let's press X. Loading 661.pvp cannot find. So it looks like we got an error. It says to exit, please hold the PS button. Open settings and select exit. PSP emulator application. So let's hold the PS button. Go to our settings and we're going to exit the adrenaline application by going to this option here exit PSP emu application. Perfect. So we're going to go back on our Vita shell and download the 6.61 firmware and get it installed. Open up your Vita shell and press select. We're going to now connect through FTP client once again. Head on over to the second link in the description and that'll take you to playstation.com and we are going to download the latest version 6.61 so let's agree and download now. There we go, let's show in our folder and what we're going to do is rename this 661. Perfect, we can close that out now we are going to copy this file into a folder on our PS Vita. 
So open up the UXO folder, go to app, and go down to the PSP MU custom firmware. And we're going to drag this guy right into here. Take some time to copy over. And there we go. And that's how it should look. Once you got that all copied over, we can now exit this and go back on our PS Vita. Let's press circle to cancel and we're going to go back to our Adrenaline app. Let's open it up. Hit OK. All right, so let's press X to install the 6.61 .6 firmware. Very nice, so it's loading. It says OK, creating directories. Very nice, look at all those codes. So the firmware has been installed successfully. Press X to boot the PSP XMB. Let's press X. And there we go, guys. We finally got it. I'm so excited. And we're now going to go through the entire process of the original PSP setup. And since my PS Vita is a Japanese version, it recognized that. That's pretty cool. It started up as a Japanese language. I believe that's what I'm thinking. So let's get English selected. Yeah, it did. That's kind of cool. And let's do Central Standard Time. Or Chicago, right? Oh, here we go. Central Standard Time set the time and date we're looking good there and we'll change that later press o press the o button to complete the initial setup and there we go guys we finally have adrenaline running and it looks damn good look at that that is so awesome let's go to our system settings Oh yeah, I gotta press O instead of X. And there we go, we have 6.61 Adrenaline dash 6.9. That's awesome, so you press select and we have the Adrenaline VSH menu. And we do have a overclock, which is nice. And we have the recovery menu, which is pretty cool. There we go. And this is where we can enable some plugins for our PSP app here. Advance. Oh man, I'm so excited. So let's exit out of here. And there is a nice little menu for the Adrenaline app. I'll show you here real quick. So if you hold the PS button, the home button, you're gonna get this adrenaline settings and I guess it's not showing up here. Let me do that one more time. So yeah, it looks like it's not showing the settings. Oh, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see the home um, window. But once you hold it, you should see the option Adrenaline with the icon of the app and settings. So hit settings. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure why it's not working. So, yeah, there's the Adrenaline menu. We have enter standby mode, open official settings, exit the application, exit Adrenaline menu. And if you hit the L and R triggers, or your left and right buttons on the top you can go to your save states 
and the adrenaline menu which is nice you can go to your settings and there's a ton of different options here here's graphics filtering smooth graphics filter color screen scale etc and etc oh and here's our memory stick location and that's where we're gonna install some of our PS1 games and PSP games perfect and that's what we're gonna do next here's our about menu or about section 6.61 adrenaline dash 6.9 by the flow so let's go back let's hit that one more time let's go to the settings go to main menu main menu sorry and exit the application so we want to go to Vita shell press select to open up the FTP client and we're gonna go to our desktop here open up your file Zilla or FTP client and quick connect perfect so now we're gonna go under the UXO folder and find the PSP emo or emu sorry and here we're gonna create a directory called game in this directory we're gonna copy all of our PS1 games now for our PSP games we're gonna create another directory called ISO perfect and now I'm gonna find some games here on my desktop or on my computer so I did back up my PSP a while back and I do have all these different games already on my computer and you can download these games from all sorts of different websites uh, and uh, just google it and you'll be able to find all these different ISOs and ROMs and things like that so for this demo let's copy one of my favorites and that's going to be Marvel vs Capcom and the eboot.pbp is going to be fine so we're just going to grab this folder of the Marvel vs Capcom let's open this up a little bit let's go into our game folder and copy this in there and it is going to take some time maybe a couple minutes here but we're just going to pause and we will be back all right so it looks like it's finished and now we're going to copy our PSP game let's go back go into our ISO folder and I think I'm going to copy the God of War PSP game in here and it is going to take some time so we will be back once it's finished so for the PS1 games you have to create the PSP folder and then the game folder and this is where you're going to copy all of your PS1 games and I did say just create the game folder and you're good to go but that actually doesn't work guys so make sure you create the PSP folder game folder and copy all of the PS1 games in here and now we're going to go back on our Vita and check out the games so let's exit out of our FTP connection let's go home let's start the adrenaline app and you go into your memory stick and we should see the two games that we copied over and there we go we have God of War very nice and we have Marvel vs. Capcom, one of my favorite games on the PS1. So let's run this one. Beautiful, the Sony Computer Entertainment logo shows up. And the nostalgic PS1. That is very nostalgic. I love that so much. Venom, now loading. Let's press the home button. And it says quit the game. No. Oh, I picked Chun Li. Big mistake, brother. Oh no, this is training. I forgot. Spider Man. -da -da -da. That music is so cool. Alright, let's see how this. Uh oh, what is going on here? 
Oh yeah, this is training. Crap. I'm ready to go, brother. Look at this. Shah. Shah. But yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions, as always, comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. And I'm losing my breath here. Take care, guys, and I will see you on the next one.